Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it is official. He-Man is canceled. Yeah, not the one you'd hope. Not the one you're hoping for. No, the Netflix He-Man movie. Remember that? Yeah, that's why it's canceled. Nobody remembers Nobody, Nobody remembers. Cares. Nobody remembers. So they are canceling the Netflix he-Man movie, and uh, I don't know what's going on with this franchise. We'll, we'll we'll talk a little bit more about it. It seems like Mattel's kind of rethinking its strategy a little bit. Well, it's just that Netflix. They're still shopping it around, trying to find somebody else to pay for it. But well, right now, if, Netflix is no longer doing it. If Barbie does well, if Barbie does really, really they well. Have, they, you know, it's true. They might have some... Uh, Leverage, however, Barbie's kind of like, it seems like it's a parody on what Barbie is. And I don't know if I want to, we, call, we have a parody on what He-Man is. It was called Masters of the Universe Revelation. Yeah, I could totally see Mattel being like, you know what? We tried playing He-Man straight. So let's play He-Man really, really gay and do like that, oh, no. that was it insurance commercial that or whatever? That was a glorious insurance commercial though. What was that? Insur I think it was insurance where He-Man Skelter. Yeah, they were dancing. I had time in my life or whatever. Yeah, like that, but the whole dancing. movie. We're gonna do the whole movie no, that way. Don't do that. Um, we're gonna we're gonna get whoever the hottest you know, drag queen is. That's gonna be the sorceress. To subvert to subvert expectations, instead of powering down his battle boner, he powers it up because it's He Man. Because it's He Man. So you know he goes full on. <laughs> he gets. He is he is a a rough and tough, battle ready ready for action, action battle boner thrusting action He Man. Yeah, let's talk about the, the movie. The slime pit. Anyway, I'm sorry. Oh my God, he could say that to Skeletor, like, no, no, hey, Skeletor, remember the slime pit? That's nah, not, I certainly do, He-Man. That's, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I was drunk. That's anyway, not what I meant, but okay. Let's, let's, talk, let's talk about this. Uh, canceling this. this. is the one that they were going to get the, uh, what, the rom-com star or whatever yeah, so the, to be left, Adam. Then they got a new guy. And then he's gone too. Well, no, well, he's probably still attached to the project. They have to have somebody else pick up the project. Pick up the pieces. They've been trying to do a He-Man movie for like freaking 15 years. Then Voltron too. They're going to do a Voltron movie and it just never We're not happened. We're going to Shira. That's not going to happen either. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think the Amazon one's going to happen. I think they're going to. they did, they just make it, you know, as shitty as the cartoon show. Yeah, what'll happen is they'll look at it and be like, oh, this is going to cost a lot of money and it's not going to make any money. Yada, yada, yada. Writer's strike. We're out. We're out of it. All right, guys, we can just cancel all this shit. That's what we're going to do. Let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, if you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! Um, yeah, so let's talk about the movie, and we'll talk about the, the second season of Kevin Smith's show. Now, for those of you who don't uh, deal in animation, don't understand how animation works, it takes years. And uh, chances are very good, especially with Powerhouse, because they're they're highly sought after that they committed to doing two seasons up front. I'm, I'm betting they did. Because yeah. the first season did not do well. No. It did not do well. Um, and they were already working on it well before it was announced. Yeah, so yeah. that just says to me that they were, yeah, they were working on it already. Now, that being said, maybe, maybe they had a chance to fix some things to address some of the complaints you know, that people had about the first season. I would, I, would, I would like to think so, but it's Kevin Smith. And Kevin Smith doesn't seem to own his <laughs> mistakes very often. He'll just blame it on the other Kevin Smith. Well, that's it. Maybe maybe uh, the other guy did the first season and actual Kevin Smith is going to come in and there's going to be a lot of uh, smoking of dope and sex I jokes. Think I think it's so hypocritical that when Kevin Smith cries at everything, it's okay. It's just because he's a real fan. But when fans cry at his version of, of He-Man, they're just a bunch of pussies and assholes and need to get over it. That's that's right. That's right. Uh, tr trust me, we are we are way over this show. Oh, I just... and he's also allowed to call rumors he hears and go on his podcast and tell it to everyone. But if you make a tweet about something you heard and didn't even cover it on a video because you didn't even think it was worth covering on a video... He's going to come down on high and kick your ass for how dare you tweeting that. But he constantly posts rumors, and half the time he's wrong. No, you and are. we were right. You are dead wrong. Kevin Smith never comes down from on high. He's, he's always, always high. high. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's let's talk about this. But he doesn't get the munchies anymore, apparently. He doesn't. So. Well, that's why he lost no, all the weight. No, he does. He just eats, like, like kelp. pepper strips and, you know, yeah, kelp. Kelp. Yeah. That's how you get that physique. All right. A variety. Masters of the Universe movie dead at Netflix after at least 30 million in development. Oh, Must be nice to just have 30 million dollars to burn. You, know, you keep seeing these. Like they spent 30 million, 100 million, CNN plus 500 million. 
You could have just given us some of the money. We could have told you you're full of shit. And you would have saved yourself a shit ton of money. Where where and do people have benefited? Get this money to just like burn shit. Just send us some. We'll tell you. We'll be your consultants. Is this a good idea? No. Saved oh you God. saved you twenty seven million dollars. Uh, Masters of the Universe is dead at Netflix. Insiders said that close to $30 million has already been spent on development cost and that the cash has been shelled out to hold on to talent. Um, so they had Adam and Aaron Knee, the Lost City. Uh, they were the... Uh, the Brothers Knee. The, the Brothers <laughs> Knee. Um, other knowledgeable sources estimate all-in costs for development at least twice that figure. Oh, no. So $60 million. You can make a lot of shit for $60 million. They pro- well, speaking of... You can make an animated series for less than $60 million, right. right? The latest headache for He-Man and Friends only further complicates the property's torturous journey to screen. Yeah, it goes back as far as 2007. Back in 2007, they were talking about doing a more like realistic fantasy take on He-Man that was kind of like Lord of the Rings, but with with uh, more loincloths and uh, talking tigers. And it actually sounded pretty cool and I'd be totally down with that because they can do it with the technology now, but we know they're going to go all in on making it jokey. They will. Probably. Because, I know. don't know. I just, after the battle boner incident, I was just like, Oh, you can't, you can't make this up. So John Chu, I think John Chu's the guy that did the gem movie. Is, is that the, the guy? guy? Oh shit. I think it is. <laughs> oh no. So he's, out to ruin all the properties from the 80s. Oh, no. So they're talking to the freaking gem director. No. Yeah, he did uh, Justin Bieber, Never Say Never. But he did G.I. Joe Retaliation, too. G.I. Joe Retaliation, which objectively was the better of the shitty G.I. Joe movies. We want to ruin an 1880s franchise. Quick, call up John Chu. John Chu. (laughs) Gem and G.I. Joe, too. And now he's going for now he's going, well, we, we dodged that bullet. So they said, oh, he, the, didn't do, oh, he didn't do this one. No, um, they, they were talking to him though. So they said the, that was back then. Yeah. They oh, said the, uh, his first victim, he would have been, they would have been his first. Victim. Oh my God. So they said the latest implosion at Netflix, according to five individuals with knowledge of the project was over budget concerns. Yeah. You can't do, you can't do a proper live action He-Man movie without a proper budget. So we tried that in the 1980s and they had to bring He-Man to earth because it was right. too expensive to keep him in the Eternia, right? Right. So, oh my God, they'd try that again. They'd be like, you know, He-Man's come to life and he's here to torment a little boy that grew up playing with He-Man figures and chide him for his toxic masculinity. Every time Johnny thinks about, about beating a woman, his imaginary friend He-Man shows up and says, no, <laughs> you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Beat off instead. <laughs> oh, sorry. You have the head. power, pal. You can control your rage. It just popped in my head. I'm sorry. You said beat. It just, okay. No, don't choke her. Choke your chicken. That's <laughs> that's He-Man's little PSA at the end. I apologize to the audience. It just came out. Are you feeling angry? You need some alone time there, Johnny, Timmy, whatever your name is. <laughs> it's going to be like Ted, but with a, a, a magic He-Man action figure. He just like appears. As long as they don't go, they don't go, um, Baldur's Gate with Cringer. We're good. Yeah, emphasis on cringe. Emphasis on <laughs> cringe. A spokesperson for Mattel confirmed that Motu is no longer at Netflix, but did not provide any further comment. A Netflix spokesperson had no comment. There's no comment. We don't know what the hell is going on with He Man. Uh, yeah. So I mean, there's a whole lot of drama here. It's just like this thing has been this thing has been development hell for years. Now, Barbie could potentially potentially open up all kinds of all kinds of uh, opportunities. They said Barbie's pre-sales were like, you know, tracking with like Avatar the Way of Water. Now, what? Avatar the Way of Water did not do well domestically, I don't think. It did it did really well overall and it did pretty okay domestically, but I think it did most of its money globally. But oh it's my tracking God. because everybody's trying to do the 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 Barbieheimer, yeah. which is hilarious because Squid King mentioned that months and months ago he wanted to see them cuz it I mean found out they were on the same day he wanted to see them both back to back. And none of us are doing. Squid King is Squid King is indeed doing the Barbieheimer. So the uh, CEO of Mattel wanted to use He Man to start a cinematic universe. Apparently, so he he told the New Yorker, "It's as big as Marvel and DC. It's hundreds of pages of characters and sorcerers and vehicles and weaponry." Well, it could 
be. It could be. But and it's you, not. And you flip through the pages, and here's a movie, and here's a movie, and here's a TV show. It's endless. Yes, because it's done so well. So, and, you know, they keep ruining them with these things. And they're doing that. Don't they um, Don't they have a uh, theme park coming out? It's a Mattel theme park, and He-Man's a big part of it. They, like they have like a laser, laser tag, tag thing. Or yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what is most palpable? Nearly a dozen conversations with people close to the project have illustrated is a growing sadness that He-Man, She-Ra, and their cohorts won't ever make it to the big screen anytime soon. You know, I used to have that growing sadness until until they brought the She-Ra show out and I saw what they did to it. Um, I knew it was coming before they even released it based on who was running it. And now I have no no desire to see it because I know they're just going to do to fuck it up. And then we saw a Kevin Smith show, which looked pretty. Art was amazing, and it yeah. had some it had some had some parts to it that actually weren't too bad, but overall it was not that good. And everything we said was what happened. Yes, and, um, yes. You know, I, after that, I'm just like, eh, eh. Yeah. So apparently they're doing another panel at San Diego uh, this year. He might actually get a lot of people show up. Last time he didn't have a lot of people there. He might get a lot of people show up this time because tell him clownfish said hi. Tell him clownfish said hi. Oh no, my kisses. god. He'll 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 uh, he'll call security. I don't think anybody would actually get him to say that. Yeah, would be real. Would probably get removed. Yeah, be really <laughs> don't do funny. Don't get in trouble. Yeah, would be really funny as if we did his cruise. That yeah, would be really. We joked about that. But we it'd be joked about. Uncomfortable that. for us the entire time. It'd be very uncomfortable for us. We might get tossed overboard if we go missing. Yeah, it's like. I, God, just, I just think it's funny. You're a clownfish. We'll swim with the fishes, clowns. So who's, who's, who's <laughs> going to be doing this? Kevin Smith hosts a roundtable discussion about He-Man and Skeletor's most epic battle yet. I mean, his his is the most epic, epic battle yet with the creators and cast of Revolution featuring Chris Wood, Melissa Benoit. Been- uh, ben, ben moi. Yeah, ben I, thought moi. Was, I thought it was Ben was a Ben Noist. And I'm like, it sounds like. Benoit. Yeah. It's uh, Griffin Benoit. Newman and Tiffany Smith come yeah. for the exclusive st- scene. Stay for a Goliath appearance by a special cast member. Mark Hamill. Mark, probably Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Yeah. Hamill. Is he allowed? To, are they allowed to do this with. Uh, yes. SAG AFTRA has uh, some guidelines for. Uh, that you are allowed to do some things, like, you know, make convention appearances, but there are like, they have guidelines out for it. So they do have, um, they do have some figures being released. Uh, this is the motherboard the action figures. Figures always look good. I'm not going to lie. The toys look good. I look as, the art's as, good. as much as we've, we've slammed the show. That's why right? story matters. I, I actually do have some of the toys from the show because they look good. The powerhouse, I cannot. You were going to it first, and then when they went on sale, you're like, oh. When they went on sale, I'm like, oh, hell, okay, fine. That scare glow looks pretty good. Maybe I'll, you know, for five bucks, yeah, you know. But uh, this is Motherboard. So this is the uh, the villain of the show. And my understanding, spoiler. Where would you hear this from? Uh, this is from a couple of different websites. They didn't really go into detail. They basically said that this is, she's somehow related to Evil Lynn, might be Evil Lynn, might be Evil Lynn adjacent, but is something, something, something Evil Lynn and Screech. Because in some continuities, Evil Lynn turns into Screech like the sorceress turns oh, into yeah. Zoar. Yeah. That makes sense, actually. You know, because um, they were like mirror images of each other. I'm not too, yeah, I don't really care about this one too much. I'm uh, looking towards buying the, um, she's pretty big. What's How big is this toy? Uh, I don't know. She's 65 bucks. Well, what's go down. What's the size on her? Because she looks pretty large. 12 inches. Yeah. She looks like the size of like a monster high doll. Yeah. In comparison, there's a monster high, uh, Draculaura that I'm, I might be buying for, for pinky boo, but you know, Skeletor likes it when she steps on his face. Oh, oh, steps on his face. Yeah. 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 Cause when she tried sitting on it, his head got stuck and it was a whole problem. <laughs> But yeah, so she is something. See, something. She's big. She can handle the battle boner. She she can handle the battle boner now. Yeah, she had to she had to uh, power up. So yeah, so I mean, I I again just just going by the toys and the fact that she factors heavily into the show and she's I'm like, what is the deal with Evil Lynn being the the big bad of every season of this show? E- I mean, Evil Lynn. It might not be her. It could be Evil Lynn adjacent. Evil Lynn adjacent. Um, I actually think the wings and stuff are pro- I actually like this toy. It's a I nice looking figure. I'm not going to lie. I like I mean, the wings. I, I like this. I've thing. always liked Powerhouse. Uh, I'm not, I don't know if I like, I, like, again, you can like something and something can look good and the toys look good and it looks amazing. The toys do look good. However, story matters. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know? I mean, hopefully they well, learned. Packaging looks pretty awesome too. Yeah. Packaging is nice. I mean, hopefully they learned a couple of things and, and this season won't be as uh, uh, cringy and will actually feature more He-Man. 
than last season. And he man and Tilo work together and be like, you know, they always were. Yeah, yeah. And Tilo's not a raging bitch. Yeah, um, I would love it if Tilo wasn't a raging bitch. That would be a nice change. Tilo being a raging bitch really ruined the last show. That and the fact that it was a Masters of the Universe He Man show without He Man. Yeah, that was it. That was a little weird. That was a little weird. That was a weird choice. Uh, for the first season of this show, like you could have, you could have gotten away if you rebooted He Man, and you did it like a couple of seasons into the show, you could have gotten away with it. Right, but, but when not you, when you're just yeah. No, not when you're just starting out. Now the sad thing is, I think the CGI show is like gone forever. I don't think we're ever gonna. And I actually like that one because Bobby my like that one. But my they, expectations. They kept this instead. Yeah, right. Uh, my expectations for that were like near the floor. I looked at the art and I'm like, oh, this looks really juvenile and kitty and then and then and then. But I actually liked it quite a bit. That was pretty. Well, good. let's hope. Let's all say a little prayer that Kevin Smith actually learned something for once and fixed it and made it better. Um, hopefully that prayer comes true. <laughs> so, but you know, you never know. The toy does look cool though. The toy I does look like cool. I don't know if it's $65 cool, but she mm -hmm. looks pretty cool. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's the reef.support.